Good afternoon, Kingdom Saints. Let's have a scriptural reading, shall we? Let's go to Romans 1, 15. So as much as it's in me, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe it. To the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith. From faith to faith as it is written, the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Because, the, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. For God had showed it to them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Amen. Amen. These are words to live by. The just shall live by faith. And those that hear it and know it, the word of God, are without excuse. We are without excuse. There is no excuse. There's nothing we can say to God on Judgment Day that's going to give us a valid reason huh, for why we haven't lived in His Word and through His Word. We are without an excuse. For when the gospel has been preached to all the nations, the Holy Spirit will depart from this earth and our probation on this planet will come to an end. We are no longer under God's grace. Our probation has ended. That's why we must come to Jesus today while we still have breath in our bodies, while our ears can still hear, while our mouths can still sing Him praises, and while our knees can still bend and pray to the Lord and ask for Jesus. Amen. 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 I hope y'all have a blessed and prosperous day. Y'all heard?